All right, guys. So, hey, what's going on? This is the uh, first um, Team PH uh, land initiative focused um, Team PH meeting. So, meet up on uh, Discord. So, this is pretty exciting, guys. Um, this has actually been in the works for a while, um, but there, there, there has been some some changes to uh, the way that Team PH is structured, which has really allowed uh, me level up life. Uh, to really be able to focus all my attention on land, which is really what where I want to have my attention focused. Um, really excited about land. Um, one of those players that has been waiting two years for land, and excited to have it be here, and excited really to kind of build and and be within a Filipino community of landholders is really is really what this is about. So this will be the first meeting. I'll try to give just like a brief introduction to like what it is. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, let's get started. So uh, real quick, um, this 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 uh, what I've got here up on the screen, just real quick. Um, there is going to be a Cebu um, team PH meetup um, on Sunday uh the 11th uh like around 3 p.m onward um i think we're talking about meeting up maybe at the ayala mall or somewhere close to the Ay ayala mall so um hey if you guys are watching this and you're going to be in cebu or you live in cebu would love to have you meet up um libre co so don't worry about it and uh, come down so um all right let's drop that there and so um, the first thing I kind of want to go over is just just some basic stuff about you know just understanding the Team PH Land Initiative. Um, it's basically a Team PH is basically a community um, that focuses on supporting Fil Filipino Splinter Lands players, and um, I I'm actually running the Land Initiative for Team PH. So the Land Initiative is sort of a sub um, initiative in the bigger. Um, or, uh, you know, community organization, whatever you want to call it, of Team PH. So I'm focused on the land initiative. Um, and then there's other people that take on the other initiatives and the bigger overall Team PH, um, you know, is 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 run by someone else as well. So um, the land, yeah, like I said, the land initiative is my focus. It's kind of my baby. It's, it's, it's what I'm excited about. And um, uh, mainly where you can find us um, is the there is a land channel. It's called Pretoria Land. You can find this channel in Discord, um, the, the main Team PH Discord. So basically it's a sub channel within the bigger Team PH Discord. And so that's pretty much where I hang out. That's where I live and uh, pretty much all mainly Filipinos and I mean, everybody's welcome there, but, you know, mainly Filipinos is what we have in, in there and where we chat and we talk about land. So, um, and then, you know, I have up here on, on my screen here because, um, you know, I just wanted to highlight this a little bit just to give you guys an idea. Um, you know, we were, we, we were putting together a spreadsheet to, to kind of like organize all the Filipinos that own land in Splinter Lands and kind of get an idea where everybody's at and the locations and whatnot. And so when we put together that spreadsheet, um, you know, um, just wanted to point out, you know, like a kids was just talking about how, Hey guys, maybe you can, um, uh, I'll share with you guys my one land. L let me add my, my measly one common land. And this was a reply that I, I kind of replied to a kids and I said, Hey bro, I know you're, you're just joking. Um, but I think it's important to keep in mind that the Filipino superpower is strength in numbers. Um, if all Filipinos in Spinal Lands bought one plot, we would control the region as a community. So we are not looking for one big whale um, in Team PH. We're looking for a thousand Filipinos with one plot each. Um, having having you know uh, having people that own more than one plot, like for example, Jeto or Garute or Muchi or Mango or um, Demore, people like this who um, have more than one plot, um, to me, I just consider that to be a bonus. Um, the way we win land is strength in numbers. Um, and we, we, we don't need one strong Westerner. We, we don't need one strong or rich Westerner. Uh, we don't need rich Filipinos to win, uh, to move a, co a Kubo when we have uh, an entire barangay, you know, by a Nihon. So, um, Basically, that pretty much gives you an idea. We're, we're welcoming all Filipinos, um, even ones that don't own any land, uh, you know, and one land is all you really need to kind of be 
part of the crew. If you're not interested in land and you don't like land or you just like the card game or you just collect cards or you're into other things like collecting SPS or something like that, um, then this won't really be for you because this is land focused. So, um, but Team PH has other initiatives that you might be interested in, but this specific initiative is land. So, um, another thing that we focus on is um, we are focusing on getting, uh, it's important to a lot of Filipinos to be in close to other Filipinos is something that a lot of a lot of um, people in the community have expressed interest in. And so this is one thing that we're also doing right now, especially in the early on where there there isn't much going on. There isn't much updates or gameplay. Uh, one of the strategies we're working on is trying to get people in the same location. So uh, we 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 support uh, we do have a document which uh, I will share later here that shows kind of where everybody's at. And we're going to continue to update that uh, spreadsheet to show where the the ph the team ph community is located um so if it's something that you're interested in kind of getting close to Fili to other filipinos or in the same locations we have a document for that that will probably be helpful if that's something you're interested in so we also support we'll support swapping of lands um to move filipinos in the same location so something i'm trying to kind of strategize and prepare for is the idea that uh there'll be filipinos that um, maybe are not in these locations or maybe they find out about Team PH later after they've already owned some land and they won't be around other Filipinos. And so something I'm trying to focus on is, you know, even me as Level Up Life trying to purchase lands with the idea that maybe those lands will support a, a swap or something like this later on. Um, it would be really cool, you know, that there is a Team PH token. So something that would be really cool is maybe I'm thinking maybe like a small um swapping like you you know you maybe you stake some team ph tokens as sort of like a thank you for the swap um not looking to to collect a fee or anything like that but maybe just a use you, you stake some or maybe you buy some for your own personal account and just as a way of just saying thank you um to the team ph community for like kind of assisting in a swapping or what 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 not would kind of be cool so just something that i'm thinking about here um basic strategy here guys uh one of the basic basic strategies that we're going to be really focused on is the basic fundamental of the buy a nihon right it's understanding that um when you're in the team ph community it's just like being in a buy on or uh, a barangay uh look like just like in the real world right so um that's really at the heart of it it's it's really like understanding that you're part of a community that you're in a community and that you're not going to be alone. You're not playing land alone. You're not just this guy with one plot in a huge map of some, you know, and, and just lost out there by yourself. So um, that's one thing that we're really going to focus on is community, um, you know, and the basic principle that, you know, every Filipino understands the, the buy and Nihon. So um, um, we also have, we're, we're going to come out with a, a team PH basically, um, is going to be providing services to the Filipino community. One big uh, service that we have right now is sort of a mortgages or a payment plan for ownership. Um, these, because of land having gone down in fiat terms, um, ownership uh, can be as low as 250 pesos a month. So um, there's really no excuse for any Filipino not to get exposure to land. Even if you are trying to like, you know, you have other focuses, like maybe you're a player and you're trying to save up SPS staked, or you're trying to get more cards to finish your deck or something like this. Um, you can get on a payment plan for land. Therefore you can lock in the price, you can control land and it really won't take away from maybe the other things that you're trying to focus on in the short term. So, like I said, we can we have mortgages as low as and payment plans as low as 250 pesos a month to get you exposed. Uh, we lock in the price. Uh, Team PH holds it as collateral, and you make your payments. And when it's paid off, the land gets transferred to you. Um, Team PH also is controlling land as an organization. So there is land that Team PH is is actually purchasing, and I'm going to show that here in a little bit, so you guys can get an idea of where this initiative is currently at. Um, but uh, Team PH is looking to hold land long term um, and find ways to support the Team PH community, uh, the Filipino community. So we welcome we welcome anyone to the community, to the to Team PH or into the Discord. We welcome anybody. But the important thing to understand is that um, all the funds and uh, the organization is is directly looking to support the Filipino community. 
uh, specifically. So you can come up, you could come in and you can be a supporter. Anybody is welcome to be a supporter. Just understanding that who you're going to be supporting is specifically Filipinos um, around the world. So uh, land, you know, the way that I'm looking at it now is, you know, land, land is going to the the, the really the, the basic philosophy that I'm going with here as the, the person who's kind of building this um this initiative for team ph is that land is going to we're going to be treating land like real world land that's bought as an investment so if we understand that in the real world um in the in the real world we have um you know we have land and we have houses and you know house and lot in the philippines or whatever and you know that's mainly used for um you know, you need shelter, right? We're, we're, we're physical people. We, we, we need to shelter from the rain. We need somewhere to sleep and we need a house and lot, right? Whether we're renting or we're owning or whatever, we need house and lot. But land that's purchased in the real world for investment purposes is much different, right? Because land that's purchased for investment purposes isn't necessarily for shelter. It's for investment, right? You may never need to live in there you may never need to live there or you may never live there um but you'll it, land could be coconut farms it could be rice fields it could be a three-door apartment right um so land or 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 real estate that's purchased for investment um i see direct it, it, you know i i think there's a very thin line there where uh, real world investment property or land is going to mesh with um this physical you know um, or this non-physical um you know metaverse if you will or virtual real estate and um you know i think that's really how we're going into this treating it like like no different it's an asset um it's virtual land but it's mimicking real world investment land and that's how we're going to be treating it so um something i'd like to share here with you guys first um this is actually um, anybody that anybody can actually go and check this out. Um, but wait, before I jump to this, actually, though, I want to jump to this. Um, I want to give you guys an idea here. So uh, we'll be sharing this in the Discord. Um, there is a couple. I think there's about four people in in the Team PH Discord that have. Uh, excuse me, guys, for one second here. Okay. So. Um, what you'll see on the screen here right now is, am I frozen on live? All right. So what you're seeing on the screen now here, guys, is a spreadsheet. Um, there's four people that have access to this and that can update this and edit this, but um, anyone with the link can actually view it. And so we'll be sharing this in our Discord. This is basically, uh, basically there's two tabs here. We have one tab that goes into deep detail, like you know the, the, whether it's a plains or a bog or a swamp, uh, what track it's in, what region it's in, and whatnot. And then basically we have a summary tab, which is pretty much what I think most people are going to be interested in, um, which basically is just going to show you the region. It shows you the owner's name and it shows you the sum or the quantity of plots that are in that region. So this is a really cool sort of um, visual here that gives you an idea where, for example, if you want, if you're very interested in being in a region that's close to other Filipinos, you can you can take a quick glance at this and see where kind of everybody's at within the Team PH community. So, uh, for example, you can see that we kind of have a cluster in 40. We have a small cluster in 79 and we also have a cluster in uh, one uh, 119. Um, we also have uh, Garute, who um, you know was actually. Su I was super excited to. I, I, I you know, I, I wasn't sure if we actually had a Filipino who owned a castle or a keep, and so um, I was introduced to Garute, and Garute has a keep. Um, I believe his keep is in 119, but um, yeah, I think it is, but maybe he can. If I'm wrong, he can clarify that. But anyways, that type of information will be on here. So, you know, another thing people might be interested in is, um, are you interested in potentially owning a plot that is in a track 
that is actually the keep is actually controlled by a Filipino, which I think some people will be pleasantly surprised to find that out. And that could be really cool, right? So knowing that, hey, you're going to be paying taxes potentially to another Filipino, and that's that's kind of exciting. So really excited to find out that that is um, the first. If if there's other if if there's any one else out there, guys, or even if you're somebody that hasn't bought one yet, but maybe you're a Filipino that's that's going to be purchasing one, would really love to have you join the Discord and and uh, share that with us. So um, so yeah, basically, guys, I'm just excited. We just pushed this spreadsheet out about a couple days ago. We've got 114 um, land plots on here. Um, some of you guys may know I'm, I'm a large landholder. Um, none of my personal land is on this list. Um, this is pretty much basically all um, the Filipinos or, you know, the Team PH community um, landholders here. So um, something to keep in mind, too, is you'll also see that they're a Team PH. Um, so let me jump in that here real quick. So this is the uh, Peak Monsters, basically. Um, the name of the account that this initiative is run under is called Team PH Land. And so um, anyone can go ahead and just enter that in here in like, for example, Peak Monsters, and you can go ahead and see the list of lands that are controlled by Team PH. Now, some of this land is being held as collateral because it's mortgaged. Um, and so, for example, if you, uh, if you look at the lands that Team uh, PH uh, owns and you kind of match that up with the spreadsheet, you'll actually be able to see where um, the, the ones that are titled Team PH are the ones that are pretty much available for like mortgages potentially. Um, so if you're interested in sort of a payment plan or a program to become like a landowner, um, you could actually take a look at this spreadsheet and see where the team PH land that's available. Um, any, any land that is um, basically mortgaged to a Filipino, um, that will reflect on this list under that Filipino's name. So it will it will be it, it will not reflect under Team PH. It will reflect under the the name of the person that has the mortgage because they're technically the owner, um, unless they default. But you can see here that I think um, Team PH has about 25. So about half the lands are mortgaged and half the lands are are controlled by um, um, team, team Team PH land. So. Um, yeah, and, and, and a little bit of the money aspect of this thing is, um, like I said, Team PH, you know, as people are making payments or as uh, lots get paid for or swapped or something like this, um, Team PH basically uses all of its liquid capital to purchase more land to make the initiative bigger and bigger. Um, I am excited to kind of use this as bragging rights. I think as a community, we can use this as bragging rights. I think it, I think it, I think it does make statements. It, it does give us a voice, um, you know, in, in general, you know, for example, like staked SPS, you know, it's great to have an opinion, but when you actually have staked SPS, you have a vote and it's a weighted vote based on how much staked SPS you have. And I think land is land and specifically Filipino controlled land is going to be a, a, an opportunity for, for example, the Filipino community, especially the land Filipino community, um, because that's what I'm focused on here. Um, you know, the amount of land that we control as an organization um, is really going to be what gives us a voice, a seat at the table. And, you know, potentially who knows where, where this is going, right? I mean, I plan on being here for a long time, um, you know, 5, 10, 20 years, you know, maybe my whole life. Um, and, uh, you know, we're looking to accumulate land. It's a scarce resource, and uh, we're going to continue to focus on getting them in, 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 in Filipino communities' hands. So I'm excited to build these numbers bigger. I'm excited to see these numbers grow. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. So I'm going to open it up. Um, I am running this through Discord. Um, this is a, a Discord meetup. So I'm going to open it up real quick, the floor, and um, you know, see if anybody has anything they want to add. Um, let me unmute Sudian. I had you muted for a second, bro, but um, there was some background noise, but you're unmuted now. Um, okay, let me pop this out real quick. All right, guys. So um, go ahead, guys, if you want to unmute yourself, if you've got anything you wanted to add or any questions or anything, guys, um, now now's the time. So go ahead, jump in there. Don't be shy. So I think one thing we can potentially do, you were talking earlier about uh, 
land for potentially like two fifty, right, per month. Yes. So maybe um, give a rough um, like an idea or like terms how that would work um, for future reference for others as well. Yeah, that's a good question. So, um. If you if you jump into the Discord, guys, if you're interested, you can kind of get like the details of the terms. But the basic idea is that um, you'll make 12 payments. Um, we can customize it a little bit to fit the needs of the person. Um, but the basic structure that we're going with is basically just 12 payments. You could pay it off early. You could pay it off if you need you know, more time, we can add a month or two, you know, that's not a problem. We're flexible. Um, but the basic structure is going to be 12, 12 payments. So one year. So basically you just take a, take a land plot and divide it. Um, and then we kind of just attach the, the team pH token to it. So we kind of, you know, we, we don't charge interest or anything like that, but we basically say, Hey, if you have a mortgage, it would be great if you could stake team page tokens every month. So there is some stake team page tokens that attach to it every single month. Um, you stake them on your own account or they're staked to your own account. So you kind of pay it and then you kind of get it back as a rebate is kind of the way we have a structure. This could change. Um, but it seems to be fairly working well the way that is. So, um, that's pretty much it. So for example, if, you know, if you can get a common plot, I don't know, $45, you divide that by 12, you know, you're looking at $3.75, you add maybe a dollar to that, you know, for, for TMPH tokens, um, you know, something like, something like that, you're looking at that. And then, you know, let's times this by the peso. I don't know. I think it's 55. You know, you're looking at like 261, right? So 12 payments of 261 pesos, um, you know, you can pay in crypto, you can pay in, in Gcash or something like that and 261 pesos and 12 months later and you own land. Right. Um, but really, I think what it, what the focus is, is like kind of like making sure that there's no barrier of entry, you know, um, you know, in, you know, I talked, I talked to Moochie about this a lot, you know, in real life, there's a barrier of entry. For example, if you want to buy a coconut farm, you can't just go buy one coconut tree, right? You got to buy the whole farm, right? Um, and so there's a barrier of entry. It's really hard to get like maybe your first asset in real life. Um, you know, you open up a sorry, sorry store or you try to buy a trike that you're going to rent out or something like this. I mean, you're talking about, you know, a trike, what's a trike run with a sidecar, you know, 100, 120,000 pesos or something like that. So there's a, there's a big barrier of entry there where, you know, maybe in the real world to start a business or to, to, to get your first asset, maybe the minimum is like, you know, a trike that you rent out that might cost you 100,000 pesos. You know, we're in Splinterlands, you could buy a, you could buy a piece of land for 2000 pesos and we, we could even make it 200 pesos a month for a year, right? So we've removed the barrier of entry, which pretty much means that any single Filipino that wants to play land, there's no excuse. Right, like TMPH is here to support you in getting exposure to land, period. Right. And we also want to support, you know, bigger players too, right? We're not just here to support like, you know, the person that needs, you know, to needs financing on one forty five dollar plot of land, but we're also here to support bigger players as well, uh, within reason, right? Because you know, Team PH only has so many funds, it's limited. And it's going to grow, but you know it can only do so much right now. It's fairly this initiative is fairly new, um, but I think we're we're doing good for how big it is now, for how long we've been around now. I think this initiative, I mean, literally, I think we officially launched it last week, right? So Team PH has been around for a while, but this specific initiative really kind of launched officially last week, and this is our first meeting. So, yeah, thanks for the question, Mochi. Any anybody else want to jump in, guys? That anybody else want to anything? Jetto, I know you're driving, bro, but you got anything you wanted to add? You can jump in, bro. I could kind of make it out. Or uh, Got B, what's up, bro? Garute. Hey, Garute, if you want to jump in, bro, you, you, maybe you want to say something about your keep, bro. Uh, did I get that right, Garute? Uh, your keep is in 119, correct? can't hear you bro maybe it's your mic or something maybe try jumping in and restarting or something we can't hear you uh let me see what you guys are saying is all good are we planning to consolidate land of one region a sudian so sudian says are we planning to you guys you could type your questions too um in the voice chat uh are we planning to consolidate land of one region um all right 
So I'm going to give you my personal opinion on this. Okay, so my personal opinion is that right now I'm not so worried about the locations of everybody as I am with with trying to get as many many people exposed to land. My biggest fear with land and this specific initiative was that land would go up in price and not down therefore pricing everyone out right we're right now like i just give an example like 250 pesos to get into the basic one plot of land my worry was really the opposite my worry was hey if land is 150 bucks at at you know floor price then that price goes to you know almost a thousand pesos a month which is a much bigger number right so my bigger my bigger my bigger worry was that land would go up in price the fact that land has gone down my focus is like hey guys all right, maybe it could go down a little bit more, but just get in, right? Get your plot, you know, get your plots now, get them secured so that in the event it goes up, it's going to be harder to accumulate, right? I mean, we have, what did I say we have right now? A hundred and something plots of land in the community. Um, Team PH owns 50. I mean, it gets harder as the price goes up. It's easier as the price goes down. So, and we're playing the long game. So I think we'll eventually have a time where maybe it's harder to accumulate land and it's a harder sell. And it's harder to get get you know more Filipinos exposed to it because the price goes up. But I think right now we have an opportunity, and I'm kind of uh, you know not not FOMO, but sense of urgency, right? Um, so yeah, so that's my main thing, Sudian. But I think it is very important to a lot of people, and so since it's, a, it's it's important to the community, you know, it's 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 important to Team PH and this initiative. So. Um, anyone that wants to swap land or move it to a different location is something that we're definitely going to try to support, right? And that was one of the, that was actually one of the motivating factors behind creating the spreadsheet, right? Because the spreadsheet is going to give us a visual of where everybody's at. All right. So yeah, thanks for the question, Sudian. Uh, and maybe level up also just to kind of touch base on the importance of locking in the price, right? Maybe we need to stress that once you lock in the price, regardless of how much the price potentially appreciates, for example, you'll still make the same payment that we locked you in on. Right. Yeah. You're locking in the price. Team PH holds it as collateral. You make your payments. When you're finished making your payments, the land gets sent to you. You know, and something I'm looking to do also is, you know, um, anyone that's participating in the land mortgage system i mean after you get your plots and they're paid off and and you know potentially you're gaining those lands and they're producing an income now you know you can come back and maybe get two or three more on a mortgage and now at least you have income and in, coming in from the lands you own and it allows you to service that debt a little bit easier and you know potentially get into more lands so yeah i see uh sudian and garute are are typing so yeah guys push your questions out um now's the time so we're going to try to do these, uh, we'll try to do these meetings here, these land meetups. Um, I'm going to be in Cebu uh, this month, so it might be a little bit tough, but I might be able to squeeze one in here and there. But we are looking to do regular ones. I'm going to be live streaming a bit more. Uh, Garute says, thanks for the invite and making this first meeting happen. We may have different factions, guilds, but we have a common goal to have many Pinoy's own land in the game, strength in numbers. I would encourage others guilds to join the movement of Bayanihan. Yeah, exactly, bro. Yeah, and I think um, you know, um Garute is Garute, I think it's Angels of PH, right? So yeah, man, exactly. You know, I mean I I think, you know, I think right now, especially with the bear market and stuff like that, you know, we 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 probably have seen a lot of Filipinos leave. Um, I know that it was much bigger, especially during the Axie boom and stuff like this, but um, there's definitely still a lot of Filipinos. And I just don't think that it's, I don't think that the game is big enough right now to justify a bunch of small Filipino groups, right? So I think that it's still small enough and, and, and relatively kind of like, relatively small enough to where, what it could be that I think if we all stick together, um you know there's no point in splitting off maybe, maybe as it gets big it's going to be hard right i mean maybe like team ph can't really support a certain amount of, of filipinos you know if, if there was a huge rush and the community grew really big maybe team ph really can't support everyone right maybe the initiatives kind of get overwhelmed with people looking for support and i think that i think that's a that's a definitely a possibility but i think right now 
it's just we're not there right it's just not at that point so all of us sticking together and supporting each other even if you're in a different guild or or like garute called it a faction um it's still all focused on the filipino community which i think is big and you know you know and i talk about this a lot right garute and and every every if you're filipino you understand right um community right the bayanihan it's just still a part of the culture right and when you're playing an online game like spinlands or any game where it's kind of like uh you know where community matters um i think that's where the filipino community has an advantage and that's also why i'm interested you know that's why i'm here really because i'm just not interested in being in a group where with a bunch of people that maybe are focused on themselves or from an individual perspective so i kind of like to play with other players i mean i like to be involved with other people when i'm playing a game and you know once i understood that the concept that you know kind of like is at the base of you know filipino culture i just thought let me surround myself with people that are that that think the same way as me and you know the the filipinos are like that so that that's really why i'm here so sudian says in your opinion how many lands do you think is ideal to own in order to gain a substantial passive income in the future okay so yeah that's more of us so i'll give you just my personal opinion that's kind of like financial advice but like if i label it my opinion then i'll just give you my opinion right so i think it's relative right and so um, I don't think it matters how much you have compared to someone else. I really think it's relative to you. And so what, what do I mean by that? I mean, I mean, you know, and, and I use this base kind of analogy of free rights for life, right? Because maybe that's just like this base of like saying, I don't think you should own such a small amount of land or be exposed to such a small amount of land in Splinterlands to where like if if you are in the right place at the right time and this does become a 30-year trend and this does become a big trend and there is another bull market and everything goes crazy that you know the amount of money you're going to make is basically going to be nothing to your lifestyle right and so basically it's like you know your land doubles or triples or quadruples and basically you know the amount of the lifestyle that you have in life, you know, it, it basically has zero effect. So I don't believe in playing so small to where it doesn't really affect you in the event you are in the right place at the right time. But I also think it's really bad to be overexposed, right? In the sense that you have so much to where you can't sleep at night or you almost, you're almost like gambling or it's like it needs to go big or you're going to have a problem you're, it's going to be a problem for you right so i'm kind of in that middle where like don't play too small and don't play too big so basically you look at your own personal lifestyle you look at your own personal situation you look at your own personal wealth your net worth or whatever and then you basically give yourself an exposure to where it's not too small and it's not too big to where you never lose sleep and you don't get stressed out and you don't get emotional because see look i want to be here a long term and i want to be here long term with this community right and i've been in crypto for a long time and the thing that shakes people out is being overexposed so it's great to see a guy come in and go dude i got 10 plots i got 20 plots i got 30 plots but if they're overexposed in a year from now they'll have five or none right and so you know I would rather have a guy come in and have five plots and be here for the next 10 years than have a guy come in with 50 plots and basically be, be done in the next three months, right? So steady, you know, the tortoise and the hare, right? The tortoise wins the race is really the strategy we're going with. This isn't a race. We're going to be here long term. Um, I would rather see us basically just stack as a community without going down right because if you look at our spreadsheet right if we go back and look at the spreadsheet right we're at 114 right the last thing i want is for people in the community to go hey bro just want to let you know you need to update the spreadsheet because i don't have any land anymore right that doesn't help us right i don't need people over here saying like i've got five and then i have to update the spreadsheet and erase five right we're trying to see the number go up not down right and like i said every single one counts Right. And I think with the way that Team PH is set up to where there is no barrier of entry, get in here, get some land, let's play, let's have fun, let's build as a community. 
And let's listen, bragging is cool. It's it's still a game, right? And we want to brag. And I want to be able to listen, I want to be able to go on a town hall at some point in the future and brag about how big the team PH community is and the Filipino community is. Hey guys, you know, as and and you know, I, I made a good joke, you know, I it's kind of an inside joke I have that one day I want to make a proposal, an SPS proposal for Splinterlands that puts uh, <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, you know, holding the Filipino flag on the Pretoria map, right? Maybe as a community, we raise money and we, we create a donation to the Dow and we say, hey guys, as a Filipino community, we would like to donate 1 million DEC to the Dow, to the SPS Dow. Um, in return, we would like to have a statue put on Pretoria map that if you zoom in, you could actually see it, right? And maybe we'll put it on that little island down there in the right-hand corner that looks like Philippines, right? I mean, I kind of joke, but I'm kind of not joking too at the same time. But anyways, I, I think we can get to that. I think, you know, I, I, I'm i looking forward to that. You know, I want to brag. I, I want to be able to, um, you know, and, and again, like I said, it gives us a voice, right? If at some point, you know, the, 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 the general community learns about the Filipino community and how much land they potentially own, well, when we talk on the behalf of TMPH in the land, I know like I see Jetto and I see a, who do I see in there? I see Jetto in there a lot. I think I see you, Garute. But, you know, guys, listen, it's not Mav Chat, right? Um, in the main Splinterlands Discord, right? Feel free. Like, we're chatting in there. You know what I mean? And uh, we could potentially become, you know, not maybe the, the, the richest or the one that owns the most land, but as a community, we could be very substantial, right? We could control, like, a, a, a very large amount of land to where, like, when Team PH has an opinion, it matters, right? Yeah, land rich list, right? And just in general, like saying, hey, here's how many Filipinos own land, um, you know, and, and we all know the stick, we all, we all know some of the narratives, right? I, I don't think we should get upset about it, but like some of the narratives are that Filipinos go into games and they extract value and they move on to new games and they like, you know, games in alpha and they jump in early and they, they sell shit and they, they, they take the money and they go into a new game or they invest in something that's like hypey and fresh and new and, and pump and dumps and stuff like that. I mean, that's generally the narrative. And I think it's going to really catch people off guard when they find out that the Filipino community owns land, right? Not renting, not strategizing, but owns land, right? They have ownership and not extracting value, but owning stuff, you know? And let me take it one step farther because, you know, land is fairly new, guys. It technically almost hasn't even launched yet if you want to get technical, right? I mean, surveying could be maybe the technical start of land, but the gameplay and stuff hasn't even launched yet. So let's be honest here. In six months to a year or two years from now, there'll be Filipinos joining this game that, that own nothing and are starting out for the first time. And the people that are in this group, right, this is going to be uploaded to YouTube and we'll be able to go back in history and see the names that are here. And I'm telling you guys that some of you guys are going to end up being mentors and supporters. Some of you guys already are, but even on a bigger level to where there'll be, you know, groups of Filipinos, 10, 20, 30, that are just looking for support and owning even one plot of land or maybe 10. I mean, land, you know, what if land is 500 bucks, you know, a plot, you know, and, and then maybe you own two and you rent one out to, a, to another Filipino to support him. So um, I believe that, I don't know who they are, you know, but hopefully it's everyone that's in here today. But at some point in the future, this is what's going to happen. You know, um, this could easily happen to where you guys become the mentor supporting, you know, a brand new Filipino players. Um, and, 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 and that could be with your five plots or your 10 plots or your 20 or whatever. Right. So. Yeah, that's it. Did, did anybody else, Moochie, anything else, guys, any, anything else? Anyone want to jump in here? I just want to say when land. Yeah, when land, man. I mean, when land. For me, bro, it's kind of already here, man. Like surveying. <laughs> if you've seen my my YouTube videos where I'm where I'm opening up my 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 cards for for surveying the lands, for me, bro, I'm, that's that that was more exciting to me than cards. <laughs> you know, what I mean? so yeah. than the battle, the uh, monsters. You know what I mean? Opening up packs of monsters and stuff. So for me, it kind of already started, man. Surveying for me was already like. That's land one one point oh to me. That's like gameplay, you know. Yeah, sure. It's it's it certainly has started, and they have the, and they have 
they have really delivered, right? And they continue to deliver, uh, good delivering, right? Um, that's exciting. Right. Yeah, and I, and I'm excited to you know I'm excited to be to be a to be in this community with this initiative and building this um, you know build building up the land holding you know building up the land position and stuff building the land initiative guys so one plot is good enough a hundred agree with a hundred percent agree with Merman yeah yeah one is enough like I said look. I have seen this so many times, guys. Not in Spoonlands, but just in crypto in general. Like, people have something and then they don't have it, right? Like, I've seen guys, I've got five Bitcoins and today they have zero, right? So what really good are you to the community if you're just basically going to have some and then not have some in the future, right? Like, I know it's going to happen. We were, we are going to be pulling people off of the, the spreadsheet that are going to be like, I don't own that land anymore. Like, I know it's going to happen. But I'd rather see number go up and not number go down, right? And again, guys, that's everybody knows that's the Filipino superpower. The Filipino superpower is strength in numbers. Like, I'm already kind of surprised, guys, to be honest with you. Like, we come over here, dude, 114 plots, right? 50, 50, of, those, 50 of those are from the Team PH initiative, right? So 114 plots, so that, that's about, what is that, about 45% are from the Team PH initiative. The other 55% are, are, on, are, are owned um, on Filipino account holders' names. So, yeah, so really exciting. What else, guys? Anybody else? What's up, Merrick? Yeah, one plot. Listen. It's cool to see a guy that has 10 plots get his 11th one, but man, it's really exciting to see a guy that's got no plots get his first one. So Yeah, I was just, I was just putting in it. My, my concern is, you know, with, with all the Filipinos, you know, we've seen it so many times before with people overspending, you know, or, you know, they're, they're, you know, like when you go out to dinner and your eyes are bigger than your stomach, you know, and, you order more than you could eat or you know the old saying I, you know you bit off more than you could chew and you know it, it, us at team ph we don't we don't want to see that for the filipinos we want to see the filipinos succeed and and we want to be there to help you all succeed and, and the filipino communities to succeed and we don't want to set you up for failure so that's why i'm stressing to everybody you know yes you know we want everybody to have it but we want you to have it wisely you know we want you to, to 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 only get it if you could afford it you know and and playing the game and, and earning and, and building up if you can in the beginning you know to afford it you could do that too you know uh the more you play or the the more you you know you go on peak d and, and earn different ways you could afford the payment so there's other ways that you could guys could earn the money to pay for the plots too. So, you know, the more you play, earn DC, SPS, et cetera. So that's that's my main concern for everybody. Yeah, and uh, Merrick, you see we have a uh, Garute of Lauren. Uh, Garute's got to keep. So kind of excited about that. We've got, we've got some guys in here that have, uh, you know, um, it's great to see F F Filipino owning a keep, so. Yeah, out, yeah, that's outstanding.